It's been snowing here a lot. I was really inspired to do a spread my sketchbook inspired by snow, snowmen, snow characters, stuff like that. And I thought it would be a really interesting challenge. Actually, you know what? I have a crazy idea. Ho hold on, I'll be right back. That's right, let's let this snow melt and I'll use it for my water coloring. It's going to make literally no difference because it's literally water. Let's pretend there's some snow magic there. <laughs> Actually, I have an idea. I usually tear corners of these pages to fill in my sketchbook, but maybe I should do like a snowflake. Oh boy, oh boy, I have not made one of these in many years, but let's just, um, let's try it out. Oh gosh, I made it too thick. I think I was not supposed to fold it. <laughs> One more time. Here we'll do one decorative edge, but the rest of it needs to be drawable. Draw drawable? Yes, drawable. Y'all. That's so cute. Let's do another one with a darker blue. Ah! Wow! All right, here is our other corner. Here's this corner. Um, should I actually draw on them before I glue them down just in case I mess them up? I don't know why I'm thinking about mushroom people poking out of the snow so let's draw like a little snowy landscape here and then out of that because what screams winter like fall oh my god what a weird looking creature what am i gonna do about their face is it just gonna be super goofy yep yep i guess it is oh what's that sexy mushroom what a weird looking creature Okay, this sort of looks like sand, so let's make sure we do add snowflakes in the sky so it doesn't just look like sand. Sure, why not? We have a mushroom person hanging out in the snow. What are we gonna do up here? I think we need to break out a white pen. What happens if I squeeze it? <gasps> ah! <laughs> um, hmm. Wow, what screams <laughs> snow themed more to you? This bird in the snow or a mushroom? Hmm, it almost seems obvious. All right, now to wait for this thick application of this white to dry, oh gosh. Give him a goofy face and there you go. We have ourselves a little snow bird. Okay, let's glue these suckers in. There's one and our other corner. Okay, so I'm thinking a traditional snowman, but it's a sort of cutesy girl. So we have our three or two snowman tiers, each circle bigger than the next. <laughs> She's gonna have some short legs. Um, we'll give her a big titty. <laughs> oh no. Welcome to this sketchbook spread. This is where we're going. Um, and big snowman hips. The thickest snowman I've ever seen. Let's give her paws. Wait, what if she was like a bear? <gasps> like a bear snowman. That would make sense for like the short legs because bears don't have long human legs. She could be a snow bear lady with really, really big titty. Wait, she's not even a snowman. She's just a, well, she's got a snowman proportions, sort of like inspired button shirt. She turned into a bear. We need like a real snow lady over here. She's pretty cute. Do I give her a hat? Like a top, a classic snowman top hat? Interesting. Uh, well, let's just make her naked and we'll just give her her buttons. And she's a sexy snowman. And even smaller. Let's go opposite proportions of a snowman. So super big on top, like a chibi. Middle and even smaller. What can we create with that? Oh, does he work out? Hold on. Yeah, he works out. Look at that. <gasps> Let's give him abs. Um, six pack with the nipples. With the nipples. Oh my God, I love him. He's strong. All right, um, interesting. On this side, I feel like drawing a bunch of objects that are snow related, like something I've never drawn before, I don't think. Unless I have in the prompts and forgot is an igloo, which seems super fun to draw. Super stylized. Love that. Kind of looks like an octopus. <gasps> you know how like, oh my God, wait, hold on. Let's draw like a snow shovel. Earlier today, I was shoveling a neighborhood block. I wanted to go get coffee and I was like, you know what? <laughs> the snow 
is higher than my boot and I'm getting snow in it. Maybe I'll just go ahead and shovel this whole sidewalk area because I know a lot of people walk their dogs down here. So I was pushing the snow shovel, like I grabbed it and I was just running for it. And then I hit a little bit of the sidewalk that was a little bit raised. Next thing you know, I was basically sucker punching myself in the stomach. Didn't feel great, but I definitely laughed it off and uh, kept going. And that's my, that's my story. Wasn't that thrilling, y'all? Do you guys have any snow traditions? I know there are people out there that when it snows, they actually make ice cream or some sort of like sugary treat with snow. I have never done that before. It, I mean, it is just water, but I'm too afraid I would get like sticks in it. I don't have any traditions. I do always take a little bite out of the snow because it's fun to just eat the snow. But other than that, I don't really do anything with snow. I haven't drawn any stick legs yet. I'm over here making buff snowmen with like snow arms. Oh, you know what I like? I like using branches as antlers. We could create a snow deer. All right, here are the branches. I've never actually made a snow creature with antlers that are a branch before. I think the only thing that I've done that wasn't a snowman was a snow kitty. Okay, we have a bunch of snow doodles here. I'm going to pick up some of the pencil because it definitely looks like it is creating a mess. And then I will get to inking these guys. All right, sketch is lightened. Let's get to inking, starting with and I love this little guy, this little, little buff guy over here. Okay, I don't like how this character is looking the same way, so I'm actually going to change that. She's pointed towards this guy. Maybe they're exchanging looks, who knows? You know, snowmen have a very short time in their lifespan to procreate, so they've got to find a mate ASAP. <laughs> I did not think that this video was going to involve sexy polar bears and talking about snowmen procreating, but here we are. I still can't get over that. I am sitting here drawing a big tittied furry polar bear character. What happened? Sometimes these videos get out of control and I, I, I lose control. I can't gain the control back. Once you start drawing big titty polar bears, you can't, you can't stop apparently. Classic furry, make sure you have a shirt on, but no pants. All right, let's ink some of these smaller silly doodles. I'm not sure if that really looks like a deer, but it's cute, so I'll accept it. Oh yeah, this weird penguin guy. Right, that guy. And it kind of looks like the snowman and the penguin are interacting. I wonder what they're talking about. Hey bud. I'm gonna die one day. I want you to take care of the kids. Actually, wait, the kids are also gonna die. Um, this is a sad story. All right, I've got my snow water. Let's start watercoloring our doodles. Ooh, I'm already thinking that since I wanna focus on this being a blue page, to keep things cool, this looks sort of like a fast food shirt. So maybe I could make it blue and white stripe. That could be cute. Can I speak to your manager? And this <laughs> big titty polar bear just like shows up. What do you do? Mommy, sorry, 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 mommy. Ooh, what if she also had cute blue, uh, frosted, fr blue frosted tip hair? Oh God, for some reason, <laughs> for some reason I forgot yellow and blue make green. Uh, I probably should have put yellow down first, let it dry, and then added the blue on top of it, but I didn't think. So now she has yellow to green to blue hair. I forgot what it's like to work with this sketchbook paper in watercolor, but honestly, I like this sort of chunky loss of control look. It's a sketchbook, so I'm not concerned about it looking perfect. So that's kind of cool looking. I'm into it. All right, a little bit of orange on our carrot noses, I think would really be nice because orange and blue complement each other. Ooh, this can be an orange flavored popsicle over here. Ooh, I'm going to put some water on our snow cone and then put color at the top like so. Then it will bleed on top of it like a snow cone. If you're not familiar with the snow cone, which I'm not really sure 
Maybe there are some countries that don't have snow cones. It's basically shaved ice. And then you put sugar water on top of it and it bleeds over it like so. Yeah, that looks cute. I think for this guy, I'm just going to put a blue circle behind him. Absolutely a perfect circle. <laughs> Absolutely not. I also want to put a shape behind these two. I really like them, but because there's snow, there's not too, too much going on with them. I could shade them with blue, but I think it'd be more fun if there was a pop of color behind them. I definitely feel like this page is more simple than some of our previous spreads, but I had a lot of fun with these character designs. <laughs> these guys, I especially love this like buff guy. He's not super buff, but he's getting there. This whole page is just blue and white and super cool. It just has this feeling of being cold, which I think I can count as a success because that's what I was going for, a nice snowy spread. And that is going to be it for our sketchy snow spread on our sketchbook. It's very blue, it's very cool. We had some goose, we had some laughs. I think this one's a nice, refreshing, cool, cold vibe sketchbook spread. Yeah, that's it, that's the spread. Check out my merch at caseygolden.com. I appreciate all the support. You guys are amazing. And I especially appreciate the support of my patrons. You guys are super the best. If you want early access to my videos, secret sketches, live streams, and more, check out my Patreon by following the link in the description. Thank you guys all so, so much for your support. You're the best. And I'll see you guys next year. Got them. Bye.